it's unique. I think we've we've in the recent past tried to concentrate on um, more bespoke developments and something that offers a unique selling point. And I think this building is there won't be another building like this in in North Devon or in this in this situation and with the features that this building has. Um, I think it's a wonderful opportunity to bring back a building that doesn't have any other use now than, than, than perhaps a residential conversion. Um, it's well located, it's, uh, it's got tremendous features and I think it's, a, it's just a great opportunity for us um, to leave a positive mark on, on the local community. So during the planning process, um, Southwest Archaeology produced a, a detailed report um, as to the history of the building uh, and the relevant dating of the sections of the building. Um, and from that report, it appears that um, the glove industry started around 1850, principally by a, a pair of brothers called the Sanders brothers. And um, to this day, you can still see uh, the name of Sanders on the south elevation, although the two S's of Sanders have been scrubbed out by somebody at a later date, for, for whatever reason. Um, so they started the industry, and um, a gentleman called Joseph Bayliss joined them in... Um, the late 1850s and, and he was very much a, a specialist glove maker and from what we understand he really pushed the glove industry in North Devon forward he expanded the business here most of the buildings that, that, that you see on site now um, were developed during his period um, and at, at the peak he was employing sort of 200 people on this site and exporting all over the world with 200 different varieties of gloves so an incredible amount of work went on in this building um, later uh, the building was acquired by Dent, Oldcroft and Company around 1930 and we understand that they restructured the building so there's some, some uh, areas uh, to the north, east and north west that um, they, 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 they took away and they rebuilt this section of the building which is the most northern section of the, the glove factory. Um, possibly in relation to the war effort during World War II to make gloves and leather goods for the front line. Um, we understand that um, glove making carried on until about 1973 when the factory uh, finally shut. We plan to convert to nine apartments. So this, um, this section we're in now, the northern section, will be two apartments um, of about 1,300 square feet. Um, we want to keep as much space. We're trying to avoid small boxes. We, we want to have as much space in the building as possible. Um, we're going to finish to a very high specification. Um, Interestingly, during the research, um, George Joseph Bayliss had a factory inspection sometime in the late 1850s and it was found that this was a, a fantastic example of how those processes should be operated at, at that time, doing what he was doing. And it would be nice to think that we could do something that people would walk in here and go, actually, they've done a pretty good job of this. So that's, that's what we're hoping to do. It's got to be done properly and we want to be proud to put our name to it and, and give this a, um, uh, a new lease of life. Thank you.